Welcome back to the Retire Young Radio Show. I am your host, Joshua David, helping us in America with the financial literacy. Don't forget to subscribe to the Retire Young Podcast on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Al, as we get into the into this final segment for the day, I do want to continue this discussion on self-directing. These shows go by so fast, and I feel like we could do hours and hours of this, but today we have one full hour. So let's talk about more on on self-directing because we have a lot of listeners that that want to be able to, I guess, have more confidence with their decision process in their retirement accounts. So sure. when we talk about retirement accounts, that's 401ks, IRAs, TSPs, there's Things that us as investors can do, whether you have a 401k or an IRA. So let's talk about some of the decisions that that you're seeing a lot of people want to be able to make in 401ks, especially a company sponsor, because there's they're they're limited to what you can do, but you still have opportunities there. Sure, but and one of the problems that we see or we hear from from students that come in is, yeah, they have a 401k, it's not keeping up with what they see the market doing. But the real key there is that they don't understand fully what is available in their 401ks, why they're making certain decisions. And uh, and oftentimes, they kind of forget the fact that they are really in control of what's in those 401ks, but know very little about them. So can you trade within a 401k? Sure, you can, you can change, you can rotate from uh, a mutual fund or one exchange-traded fund into another. Uh, and the key, you use the same basic core strategy as you would use if you just had a regular investment account where you're identifying where the price is going to change, where the supply and the demand is. And you can do that with mutual funds. You can do it with exchange traded funds. One of the reasons that people want to rotate out of a 401k or, uh, you know, into a self-directed IRA when they retire uh, or once they've reached the point where they have exceeded the match that a company might be providing, instead of putting more money into a 401k, which has limited choices, they'll put it into a self-directed IRA. And what that is, is simply is exactly what it says. It's an investment retirement account where individual retirement account where you are self-directing it. You're making the, the same decisions as you are making in your 401k. What am I going to invest in? When do I change from one to another? However, in the self-directed ones, you have many more choices, not just mutual funds or ETFs or a few stocks. You can invest in options. You can invest in uh, with uh, futures. You can invest with Forex. Many more choices. There are strategies you can use in up markets, strategies you can use in down markets, strategies in sideways markets, strategies to provide protection for what you have. The key all also, L, is the fees, to eliminate Correct. or lower those fees. And the confidence is what you need. Right. You help a lot of people with the confidence. What are yeah. some of the, I guess, steps that you can help people with the confidence? Well, yeah, the confidence comes from knowing what you're doing. And, and that's where fear comes from, not knowing what you're doing. So the confidence comes from understanding how the markets work, what really impacts price, how you can take advantage of it, and then understanding the different assets. You know, why did a lot of people not use futures or forex or options? They just don't know. They just don't know about them. Nobody has educated them. And that's what we do. We, we provide education choices. You, if you want to trade stocks, education is there for that. If you want to trade futures, Forex options, the education is there for those things. And it really becomes kind of a personalized thing depending on, uh, you know, individually your personality. It, it depends on what your expectations are, what your goals are, what your needs are. The, the right assets may be there, and you just might not know about them. You know, and I think one important thing is that for most people, they are in more of a buy-and-hold strategy throughout retirement. That's probably when the greatest damage can be done based on that kind of a strategy. Let's just say, for example, you retired in the year 2007. Well, in 2008, the S&P took a 50% hit. What would have happened to your portfolio? What would have happened to your retirement lifestyle had you gone through that kind of a drawdown in your retirement accounts? Uh, and the problem is that uh, it takes a period of time. It could take 5, 10, 15 years just to recover that loss. But if you're in retirement and you're drawing down from that retirement account, you're still paying fees and there's a little bit of an inflation hit, you may never get back to where you were before. That's why it's so important to be able to be flexible enough and agile enough to take advantage of these different situations. And, you know, the, the, uh, you know I, I can remember years ago, Josh, when uh, my family would go on a vacation 
I'd have to go to AAA, and I'd have to get a map for every state we were going through, and we'd have to map out our, our route. Now what do you do? You just pull up your GPS the system. GPS. It knows where you are. You just tell it where you want to go, and it takes you there. It, it keeps you out of uh, air, the route, routes that are being detoured, and it keeps you out of areas where there's high traffic. And you can do the same thing if you have the right tools in, in the financial world. Our students use a platform called Click, which, which does exactly that. It's going to tell you how to stay out of your own way and kind of like the GPS, help you get to your destination. Well, you have to have that strategy. The GPS, is, like you said, is that is that click. And having that process to walk you through those steps really helps with that comfort, but it really also helps with the confidence. And you talked about drawing down accounts. I mean, that's what happens in retirement is you're unemployed, for one, but eventually that account is going to dry up. I and mean, think of your sure. retirement account as a a, uh, a snow pile. Eventually that's going to melt when summertime comes up. It sure will. So the key is is to to build that to a point where you have more confidence and more comfort in that retirement account. So Al, you talk more about that comfort and confidence in these investing classes, but uh, you, you really dive into, I guess, that rules-based strategy that's designed to trade for any asset class, but also any style, like you said, whether you're in retirement years or during your working years. So let's go with colors one through 10. You're going to receive two tickets when you call in for this investing class, one for you and one for a friend. The number is 952-814-4410. That's 952-814-4410. Ali, you mentioned something earlier. You talked about what is your goal, right? And basically here, you know, what we think as a goal is it's basically just a a desired outcome, sure. right? You know, there's, there's many goals. People have fitness goals, uh, mm-hmm. life goals. There's also financial goals. But you need to focus on one thing first, and that's the knowledge and the skill to get there. Sure. Yeah. And that's that plan as well. So what are some of the, I guess, more of the steps in that plan to reach those goals that you do have or potentially get there? Yeah, and, and you're exactly right. The, the goal should be initially should be the knowledge and the skills to, to get to where you want to go. And the best way to do that is two things that are important in a plan that you should follow. One is it should instill confidence in you. And the other is that it should control your emotions. It, and to be able to do that, both of those things require a rules-based strategy. You, you have to follow a step-by-step process, a set of rules that just kind of keeps you out of your own way because you will be your worst enemy. So if you have to do that, if you have to go through step one, two, three, four, five, before you place a trade, that's going to help you with the confidence because those rules were developed by the people that actually worked on Wall Street and that moved the the orders, that moved the price of the markets or individual assets. If you do that, if you follow those rules and that click platform that I was talking about that really is kind of your financial GPS system, that's going to make you go through each step. That's going to take the emotions out of it and and make you feel a lot more comfortable about what you're doing because in in retirement this is you need to ask yourself some questions. You know, how am I going to achieve income in retirement? How am I going to grow my account values in retirement? And how I'm how am I going to protect what I have? Those are all components of what you should have as a retirement plan. And it it should include what your needs are. And everybody has different needs or different desires in retirement, where you are now. And then what rate of return you need to get to those needs. That's all part of, again, like a GPS system. Yeah, and those, those like that rate of return, you can calculate that out with our retirement planner. That's a pretty simple sure. calculation. Yeah, but you also have to be flexible enough to change because things can impact that rate of return. Inflation could go through the, the roof. Uh, taxes should, could change. You know, there could be some health issues. So you that rate of return might be something that will change over time. You need to have the education, the knowledge, and the skills to be able to change what you're doing if you need to change that rate of return. Well, the first thing, too, is you have to be willing to learn. And obviously, if you're listening to the show, you're willing to learn. But you also have to have the discipline to follow those rules that Al was talking about. Then you just need to be decisive. You have to be able to place that trade. Al, let's go with some words of wisdom today. Well, you know, Josh, too many people miss out on their true potential because they think it's just too complicated to do do this so they don't try. So actually, these words of wisdom, it's really an Irish verse. I have no idea. I have no recollection of where I read it, but I wrote it down. And this is what it said. It said, if the mountain seems too big today, 
then climb a hill instead. The mountain will still be there when you want to try again. So climb it in your own time. In other words, in the financial world, start small. Start small. This is a step-by-step process, and that's the way you should take it. Start small and then work from there. You're right. And basically what you did or basically didn't do in the past, that's gone. What you can do today, well, that could help with more confidence. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Retire Young Podcast on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Spotify. Make sure to tune in next week, same time, same place. we got another action-packed show with these volatile markets. Until next week, with the Retire Young radio show, retire young, my friends.